Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do chapter 7, classwork, lesson part 1, SAT math level 2 prep, 14 points on your notebook, guide, chapter 7, trig functions, part 1, and then 10 points on your classwork sheet, so mostly taking notes, name, date, period, in my class, due date, onliners, homeschool, page 1 of chapter 7, part 1. The general definitions of the six trigonometric functions are obtained from an angle placed in standard position on a rectangular coordinate system. When an angle theta is placed so that its vertex is at the origin, its initial side is along the positive x-axis, and its terminal side is anywhere on the coordinate system, it is said to be in standard position. The angle is given by a, a positive value. So here is an example here. Here's theta. Here's a terminal side here. If it is measured in a counterclockwise direction, so we go in this direction, it's positive. This direction be negative. From the initial side to the terminal side. And the negative value is if it's measured in counterclockwise. So we go, or rather, yeah, in a clockwise, it's negative. So this would be a negative theta, and then this would be positive theta. This would be a positive theta over here. So let P of X be any point on the terminal side of the angle, and let R represent the distance between uh, O and P. The six trigonometric functions are defined to be uh, sine theta will be equal y over r, cosine theta will be x over r, tan theta will be y over x, cotan theta will be x over y, secant theta will be r over x, and then cosecant theta would equal r over y. From these definitions, it follows that sine theta times cosecant theta will equal 1, Cosine theta times secant theta will equal 1. Tan theta times cotan theta will equal 1. And then cotan theta equals cosine over sine theta. If a perpendicular is constructed from P to the x-axis, a right triangle is formed by the perpendicular, the x-axis, and the terminal side. Dividing both sides of the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared by r squared, yields the Pythagorean identity, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta uh, equals one. The following pro identities, sine squared theta equals one minus cosine squared theta, Cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. And 1 plus tan squared theta equals secant squared theta. Cotan squared theta plus 1 equals cosecant squared theta. That's where those come from. The distance OP is always positive, and the x and y coordinates of P are positive or negative. Depending upon which quadrant the terminal side of angle theta lies in. The signs of the trigonometric functions are indicated in the following table. So when you are in these four different quadrants here, here's your signs of your different uh, trigonometric functions for that. Positive, positive, negative, negative for sine and cosecant. Cosine and secant are thusly and then tan and cotan are thusly here as well. Each angle theta whose terminal side lies in quadrant 2, 3, and 4, or 4, has associated with it an angle called its reference angle theta, which is formed by the x-axis and the terminal side, like this, Here's theta here, reference angle, will be theta r. They call theta r here. This will be theta r, which is your reference angle 
from your x-axis to this angle here and then theta would just start from the uh, initial side here and go like this whereas this is your reference angle there are two different angles in this situation any trig function of theta equals plus or minus the same function of theta reference the sine is determined by the quadrant in which the terminal side lies so this quadrant here is quadrant three so you have negative x's here and then negative y's here as well this would be a negative y and then this would be a negative x <clears throat> so it'd be positive so the the uh, angle here see the sine is determined by the quadrant in which the terminal side lies so um, the trig function of theta here you'd have a negative x and negative y so it'd be a positive in quadrant three and a express sine 320 320 degrees in terms of theta reference so here's our 320 here we go all the way around like this here's our reference angle here our theta reference would be this angle here and then here's theta here so theta reference would equal 360 minus 320 would be 40 degrees so you have a 40 degree reference angle here since the sine is negative in quadrant four so we have a negative y here sine 320 degrees would equal the negative sine 40 degrees is what that would be the sine would be a negative 40. and then b express cotan uh 200 degrees in terms of uh, theta reference so here is your 200 degree angle here this is your theta this would be 200 degrees what what would this reference angle be here so it'd be 200 minus 180 it'd be a 20 degree reference angle here for this uh, uh total theta you'd have a reference here of 20. so it'd be 180 plus 20 more would be 200. since the cotan is positive in quadrant three the cotan uh, 200 would equal cotan 20 degrees here so cotan would be the opposite of tangent so that would be a positive angle in that situation <clears throat> why because they're both negative x and y are both negative so that would be a positive and then express cosine 130 in terms of theta reference so the cosine of 130 here is to be 40 degrees past uh, the 90 here that'd be 130 and then here's your reference angle will be right here so 180 minus 130 would be a 50 degree reference angle for this here in cosine and cosine would be uh, the x so cosine is negative in quadrant two because your x values here are negative so it'll be a negative cosine 50 degrees sine cos and cosine tangent and cotangent and secant and cosecant are cofunction pairs cofunctions the complementary angles are equal if alpha and beta are complementary then trig uh, alpha equals cotrig beta and trig beta would equal cotrig alpha if both angles are acute and sine 3x plus 20 degrees equals cosine 2x minus 40 find x so for this situation since these cofunctions are equal the angles must be complementary therefore 3x plus 20 would e plus 2x minus 40 would have to equal 90 degrees in this situation here so 5x minus 20 will equal when we combine like values here 5x minus 20 will equal 90 so x would have to equal 22 degrees uh, in this situation here
Although the degree is the chief unit used to measure an angle in elementary mathematics, uh, radian measure has several advantages in more advanced mathematics. A radian is one radius length. The circle shown in the figure below has radius r. And where is that circle? Let me bring that up here. So here's your uh, one radius here, which equals a radian. The circle shown in the figure below has radius r. So the length of this, that this would be a radius here. And then this radian will be the same length as a radius here. The circumference of this circle is 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. So 1 radian is 360 degrees divided by 2 pi, which is about 57.3 degrees. And this, so this angle here, 57.3, would equal 1 radian here. So 2 pi times this radian would be the complete circumference of this circle. Okay, everybody, so let's move on to our next situation here. In each of the following, convert the degrees to radians or the radians to degrees. If no unit measure is indicated, radians are assumed. Okay, so we got 30 degrees here. What do we need to We need to convert the degrees to radians. So to do that, we need to multiply by pi over 180 degrees. So 30 degrees would equal 30 degrees times pi over 180 degrees will equal pi over 6 radians for that one. And then 270 degrees to do that one, 270 times pi over 180 will equal 3 pi over 2 radians. And then pi over 4, and then we're starting from radians now, moving back into degrees. So we multiply this by 180 over pi. So pi over 4 times 180 over pi will equal 45 degrees for this pi over 4 radians. And then we got 17 pi over 3. Again, we multiply by 180 over pi. 17 pi over 3 would equal 1020 degrees. And then we just have 24, so this would be radians here for 24. 24 times 180 over pi will equal 4320 over pi, which comes out to 1300 and 75 degrees here for 24 radians. And that was uh, chapter 7, SAT Math Level 2 Prep. Animated PowerPoint math video at ALL.com for course materials or questions. Thank you very much.